So we're starting off into the last uh, month for 2019, December, and of course, it's actually also last month for this decade. And um, through some of the commentary that I've seen over the past few days, I think there's a little bit of um, um, a lack of, of perspective for, for how December tends to work out. People talk about, you know, Santa Claus rallies. They talk about, um, you know, positive month in general. And, and I want to give you some perspective on that. And I have some a couple of charts I'm going to show you on this as well. But I, I think just to kind of, before we even go to the charts for a minute, let me just kind of draw, paint this picture. What you tend to see in the month of December is um, actually a surprising amount of volatility in the first half as you get through the 15th through maybe the 18th of December. Usually there's either a news thing that's happening that this year we have news on the 15th as well with the, the tariffs, um, but also there's a, a Fed meeting and that actually can, can, can cause a lot of volatility and ultimately um, a bid into year end. So let me give you a little bit of perspective on this so, so this makes sense. So first of all, this is what the, the seasonality looks like. And if you just focus on the last sort of row here, this is the month of December, and you can see sort of a well, you know 40 year history of it. You you tend to see a little volatility and so on and so forth, and then you see a a, a, no, a notable move into year end. Now it doesn't have to be this sharp. This is an average chart over the long term, but there is a tendency for a bit into year end. A tendency, right? This is an average chart over 37, 40 years. Now. What you have to understand as well, though, is that that rally doesn't have to start necessarily on the, you know, the 17th or 18th of, or 19th or even the 20th of December. Like last year, for example, 2018, that rally didn't start until the, six, the 26th of December. And we even, even though it came from very low levels, we did actually have ultimately have a bullish reversal in a rally. And I think that's what a lot of people tend to be kind of... Um, uh, getting wrong is is, is 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 I think they think just you just come into December and you blind you buy blindly and then it gets surprised by a, a really quite a volatility shock or, or a spike in volatility above the average above average volatility that you you would expect during that time of year and of course last year 2018 um, the volatility was was extreme um, but then we also had a very very sharp rally in the last few trading days of the year that very few people participated in uh, because they were absent, of course, you know, between Christmas and New Year. So um, anyway, my base case here is we think we will see some more volatility for the first couple of weeks of December, and then we will have to see, watch very closely what happens through the tariff talk and things like that. Um, but ultimately, there, there are good odds of seeing a bid into year end, and uh, we certainly will keep our, uh, our members and our clients up to date on that. But basically, what you want to look for is some sort of strong bullish reversals after the volatility subsides. And I will update you a bit more on that. If you enjoy this, if this makes sense, leave us a comment down below, give us a thumbs up, like, and we'll talk to you soon.